Yeah, she froze shut. Cause uh, it's unlocked. It's just frozen. And through the passenger side. So now we've got to open up the driver's side so I can leave. It's still frozen. There we go. All right. Cool. All right, guys. So uh, just in case you didn't know, I live in North Carolina. And actually, right now, there's snow on the ground. It snowed last night. So we are... We are outside right now about to go deliver a package to the post office. Got to send out a package, a giveaway package to my buddy, Aviston Outdoors, who's one of the A-Dub gang. And uh, after that, we're actually going to the lake. There's a tournament tomorrow I'm thinking about entering. And I want to go see if I can catch anything today before I go enter it tomorrow because it is over $100 to enter. So we're going to go take out the Skeeter right here. It's covered up in snow right now, so I've got to get all that snow off. But after we go to the post office, we're going to come back, hook up the boat. We're going to head to the lake, see if we can go get on any fish. All right, I've got the boat loaded up now, so we're going to go ahead and go to the gas station. Probably going to put like 20 bucks in it. And uh, we're going to go look around at the lake. We're going to try to catch them up shallow today. The water is seven feet high. So it's going to be interesting. Stay tuned. Let's see if we can get on some fish. If I catch one in an area, we're going to go ahead and move spots. So there might not be a ton of fish in this video, but definitely if you are a tournament angler, definitely be sure to stay tuned. And even if you're not a tournament angler, it's going to be a pretty cool video. So go ahead, watch this thing all the way through. This is funny. There's literally one car right here with the trailer and there's one other car and they're not even fishing. They're just sitting in the car. So basically, nobody is out here today pre-fishing. This is the ramp that the tournament is putting out of tomorrow. And there is nobody at this ramp right now pre-fishing. So that's pretty crazy. That's hard for me to believe. And it is high. I don't know if you guys can see it right there or not, but that water is usually right there. So it's, it's very high. It's about to come over the docks, but I don't know. We're going to go out here. We're going to try our best. Maybe there'll be some boats out here, but right now it's looking like we're about the only one out here crazy enough. So let's go ahead and get to it. I don't know guys, maybe I'm just crazy. I don't really know, but I mean, there's literally one boat here and it's not even like a super nice bass boat. Like I was expecting like a couple boats with double poles on them and everything, you know, like some guys who are pretty serious, but no, there's just, I mean, there's nobody here. So, I mean, I guess that's, I mean, I guess that's a good thing. I don't, I don't know. I guess I'll have the lake to myself today. Just got it dropped in, got my poles down. I'm about to go ahead and pull out now. You can see somebody's been out here. There's a couple footprints, so maybe some guys came earlier today. But right now, there's not really anybody, which right now is when it's going to heat up during the day, which is when I would think that most people would want to go fishing. So, I don't know. We're going to go try it. There's a rig over there. Here's the other rig right here. You can see where I came out of the water. Nobody else has come out of the water. I'm just really surprised. Like I really thought there was gonna be way more people here. Like I thought there's at least gonna be like 10 guys out here trying to practice, but I guess not. I mean, it is flooded, but the water's not super, super muddy, which I was expecting it to be like really bad. So I don't think it's gonna be a bad day at all. I think we should catch some. So we're gonna go get after it. Whole show's starting up every time. 30 degrees outside and she's still starting up. It's a rough one today, boys. I think I'm gonna have to move locations. A little too windy here. Can't really control your boat. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so this spot is about one degree warmer. We came up a little bit more shallow. We were kind of on the main lake and it is muddier back here, but I don't think it's gonna be a huge issue. We're gonna go ahead and uh, grab the spinner bait because I think that it might catch them back here. We've got a little bit of wind going on and uh, this muddy water. I think that this chartreuse white with the big blade is really going to call them out. So we'll see. I think that chatterbait will definitely do it too, but I just, I don't know. I feel like the spinnerbait might be better back here. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to crank these rocks some. 
that's the real reason I came back here is there's some rocks back here and I know that it's usually a decent area back here so All right, guys, this is day two. We're going to a different lake. We are going for redemption today. Yesterday, we were fishing a lake that was seven and a half feet high. Just could not get it done. I went a little bit late, about 12 o'clock, but today we're going out at 10 o'clock. We're going to a more local lake. It's only about 15, 20 minutes away. We're gonna go out here. Have not been out here in months, probably five or six months. It has been a long time, but last time I was out here, I think it was a tournament. I ended up catching like 15 or 16 pounds in the summer, so maybe we'll do that today. I just wanna catch one bass today. That's really my goal. Just because there is snow on the ground for North Carolina, where I'm at in North Carolina, usually we don't get that much snow, and I've actually never fished in the snow. So it's definitely a little bit more difficult to catch them right now, but we're gonna go out there and uh, see what we can do. Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna catch a big one. Well, we just ran into our first issue of the day. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but that's ice. This was actually frozen back here. I had to pour water and beat on it to even get this thing to open so that way I could turn my power on on my boat. So now I've got power and uh, shout out to this guy over here. He uh, he came over here and checked on me to see if I could use any help, but there was really nothing he could do. So really appreciate that guy coming over here to check on me though. But I think we're good to go now. This thing is unfrozen, so let's get it. All right, moment of truth. There we go. We got some power on her now. That's all I needed. All I needed was a little bit of power. All right, we're headed down towards the boat now. I just parked the truck. I'm actually pretty worn out from that. I'm not going to lie. I sat there and fought that thing for a good 10 minutes, but it's fine. That's not, I mean, that's not the boat's fault or anything. It's just cold weather. I mean, literally my hatch was frozen. That just tells you how tough it might end up being today, but we're going to go out here. We're going to crank some rock. We're going to hopefully go catch some. Stay tuned. Another update. I'm now bleeding from my finger. I don't know from where, but probably from working on the boat. So that's great. But we do have all our rods out now. I think we're rigged up pretty good. So we're going to go over here and try on this rock. There's a lot of guys over here on this bridge. And uh, I think they're mostly throwing spinner baits, chatter baits, stuff like that. We're going to try throwing a swim bait. I've caught them out here in the winter doing that before. Nothing huge, but you can catch them. So we're going to try that, see what we can do. See this water, I don't even know if it's really high. They really watch this like pretty good with the dam. First cast gotta get home, that's pretty great. I just talked to some guys, they said they haven't had anything except a couple bites on the jig but the fish won't hold on to it so sounds like not that many guys are catching them right now but i do know that this wall right here is very deep very very deep wall and usually you can catch some fish on it people have definitely fished this thing because i mean it's just a really good spot but We'll see, I'm gonna try to pull something off of it. Something that maybe somebody else missed. All right, let's see if we can rip a head out of here. I think that there's one sitting right in here. We just got to get him to come out.
got him. Got him. We got one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We just caught a fish. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited that we caught a bass. Look at that. We finally caught one on the spinnerbait. I knew that I could catch one back here. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and put my power poles down. I knew that I could catch one back here because the water temperature is so much warmer than everywhere else. The water temperature back here is 53 to 54 degrees because there's actually a waterfall right here putting in water and this fish ate it right there so that's pretty dang awesome right there we just caught our first fish i mean he is not huge let's just we're, we're gonna put him on the scale just for the heck of it because uh it's the only fish i've caught so i'm gonna go ahead and embrace the moment and we're gonna go ahead and weigh this guy why not i think he's a pound and a half but I'm just super, super stoked to have even caught one, guys. Literally two days of fishing. I didn't think I was going to catch one today. It's just super exciting to just feel a fish. I felt him bite that big spinnerbait, and I was like, oh, yes. He might not even be a pound and a half. He's a pound and a quarter. There it is right there, 1.27. A little, tiny, small fish. But it is a bass and I am definitely excited about that. I do not care one bit that he is 1.27. Totally fine with me. I just hope we can catch another one. The boat kind of drifted up here, but maybe we can catch another one back here. This water temperature is a lot warmer, so I'm definitely going to fish this area hard. Awesome. All right, nice little 1.27. We're going to go ahead and let it go. Hopefully, we can catch another one. That was super exciting. I'm just going to let my boat stay right here. We're gonna fish this area. I'll actually show you guys what this looks like once I can get around there. Oh my gosh, there he, what, is, what is he doing? That was my fish, he just came up and just jumped. That was so crazy. But anyways, there is a fresh water, there's like fresh water flowing in right here. It always has water, so it's some sort of spring or creek from a pond or something. But every time I've been here, there's always water. And that fish was right here on the edge. I casted it in front of this little channel right here, which is pumping in warm water. And that's where that fish ate it at. So these fish are probably stacked up in here another boat did actually leave as i was pulling up so i'm pretty sure that they fished this area but that doesn't mean that i can't catch any of the fish because they could have been throwing the complete wrong bait who knows That's perfect. That way the current can kind of wash it away a little bit. Don't want the stanko. It might have been the only fish in here. I, I mean, I highly doubt it, but those guys also could have came in here and cleaned it out. They just didn't catch that one. All right, it's time to go. I want to go see how much that tournament weighed in, so I'm not going to fish any more spots. So I was thinking about fishing that same drain on the way back out, but we're just going to go ahead and go because I want to figure out if I'm the only one who struggled today because I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only guy. So we're going to go ahead and head back to the ramp now, load the boat up. All right, so we're back at home now. And I did talk to the guys at the tournament. 16.5 is what won it. First and second place both had around 16 and a half pounds, but a lot of guys were not even catching limits. Some guys zeroed, I know. So, I mean, I didn't have as much time as they did. I still, I still don't think I would have been able to catch a limit, honestly, but those guys did catch them. So the fish were biting, but last week I heard that 30 pounds was what won. So the fish are definitely off for some reason, and I don't really know why, but I definitely tried my best, and uh, I did get one on that spinnerbait. Another guy I talked to, the one who actually was trying to help me with the boat, he said he caught three on a spinnerbait, and two of them were off of a beaver dam, or no, one was off a of beaver dam, two off of a big rock. So it seems like everybody was catching them up shallow, which is what I was doing. I was chasing them up shallow for the most part. I did try some deep stuff, but it sounded like I was on the right track. So after I got home, I did realize that my like open and closed live well thing is actually broken, so I gotta get a part for that, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna have to get that worked on probably before I do a tournament, but hopefully I can get that fixed this week. That's just because I think it was frozen, and then whenever I moved it, I think it popped off. I don't really know what happened with that deal, but for some reason it's not catching anymore, so 
that way my live was just open because I noticed when I pulled the boat out, it was just draining a ton of water. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I did only catch that one bass, but I mean, what can you do? I tried my hardest and I hope you guys are able to see that. Hopefully we can get on a couple, a couple more bass here in the next week or two and roll out a couple good videos for you guys. But I wanted to go ahead and just kind of give you just a look into what I'm going through right now, kind of see what it's like to be preparing for tournaments and just going out in the boat trying to catch fish in such a tough time. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this type of video. Really appreciate all of you guys for tuning in and watching, and I hope you guys can go out there and catch some big bass. We'll see you in the next episode. Go catch them.